Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for today I'm going to be reviewing a very nice figure. It's really cool. It's this guy here. He's Commander Faye from the Legacy Collection build the droid line. First up I'll give you a look at the packaging this one comes in. As you can see he comes in the old 2008 packaging. A really nice picture of him right there. Kind of looks scary. <laughs> As you can see, he comes with the droid part to build MBRA7. And I'll just quickly read to you from the paragraph on the back. It says, Faye has received specialized training from Arc Trooper Alpha, equipping him with the necessary skills to lead an elite battalion during the Clone Wars. He is a part of a task force sent to Seleucami and Kashyyyk under the command of Jedi General Quinlan Voss. That was just that quick paragraph. Out of the rest of this wave, um, I'd like to pick up a few more of these figures. All I have is the uh, Commander Faye and Stas Ali there. But I would be most interested in picking up FX6, the 327 Starcore Trooper, and General Grievous as they look pretty cool. So enough about the packaging now into the figure. I'll start with the droid part. He comes with the torso to build MBRA7. Since I do have Stas Ali, I do have one of the arms to build this figure. Which is kind of like the Death Star slash Soundcrawler type droid, as Sith Lord 229 stated. Okay, so enough about that. Now onto the figure itself. As you can see, it's a really cool figure. I'll start off with articulation. He has a ball jointed head, ball in his shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, which I'm really starting to hate considering on this figure with his left hand, um, which he is holding his gun with, it tends to pop off really easy. But he also has a swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. The helmet is removable, and this helmet cover right here is a really snug fit, so most of the time, unless you take it off right, the helmet will come with it. Uh, as you can see, I've just demonstrated how you can do it properly. And there he is without it. And then you can proceed to take off the helmet, which features a really new head sculpt for the clone troopers, which I think is the best head sculpt we have ever seen for a clone trooper. Then the helmet there is the helmet that you see in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 clone pack with the clone engineer. Just wish that figure came with a removable helmet, but but it didn't, so nothing much you can do. Oops. Er. He does come with a DC-15 blast pistol, which is nicely detailed. Oops. The poncho is removable on this one. Because on the previous release, they glued the belt on, but in this one, they just stuck the belt over the poncho. And if you look at the markings on his armor, right there, you'll see that they denote the 7th Legion. And I haven't done any research on this figure yet, so I'll have to do check up on that and see if he's a part of the 7th Legion. But as far as I know, he's not. So, this figure retailed for 268 which I picked him up for, um, which is very good give this figure easily a 8 out of 10 and I highly recommend this figure so I hope you enjoyed this review join me next time for more reviews but until then keep collecting may the force be with you